Okay, so I'm just going to give you a quick little demo of how the software, the bartender software works. So as I open a new template, uh, I'm going to show you here, but let's keep in mind this is the professional version. It might look a little bit different than the ultralight, but the features that I'll show you will work the same. Okay, so we're going to go blank template. We'll just skip through a couple of these settings quickly. We have to choose the printer. So the label printer is the TSC 345. We'll hit next. And we're going to skip through some of these that aren't that important. Here we have a rectangle shape. That's what would be for our vinyl material. Next, here is where we choose the size of the label. So you can see the way the material is coming out of a printer here. And this is where you choose portrait or landscape and such. So if I go, in this case, a landscape label with a height of one inch. So you can see it now it's a six by one label. And we're going to go next and next and we'll just finish that so now we have uh, our labels created here you can see on the left ruler there's a one inch the top it goes to six inches so you can see how that looks so to begin creating it you would just go to a text this is the text icon here and you choose one normal font for an example and then you would just type in your whatever words you want to use and then if you want to you know duplicate this you can copy and paste a couple of them, you know, you could bring them in. This is just to quickly show you how you can create your labels, right? So, and so then you could select them all and you can either group them or rearrange them. So I would arrange these, I would align and I could choose to align the left sides and space evenly and then it'll automatically arrange them properly. You can move things around as a group and such. You could group them. So that's the idea there. Bringing in barcodes is simple. Basically you have a drop down here. You can say more barcodes. And all of the different variations are here. Of course, I think, I don't know if you said it was a QR code that you wanted to do or not. If it was, you could just bring them in this way. You could drag, again, you could drag them, recreate the size. It's very easy to use. Double click, and then here's where you could choose what the actual message is, whatever it is. Right, so you could arrange these. You could have this human readable there or not there. You could also bring in logos. So I'm going to just bring in a quick logo to show you. So any image you want on your computer. On the desktop, I have a image here. Let's see. So this is just a logo off the internet and you know it's obviously not going to print in the colors because you're just going to have a, a one color ribbon but then you could easily print that label off and that's how, basically how the software works you could center items here center center easily if you wanted to go with the the professional version because you wanted to import there is where would we go here i think we go to when we double click on it here in the type I'm not going to get too deep into it, but this is where you could choose from a database or how you want to import next, and then we would be able to see more options of here shows us so how you would like to import it. So I'm not familiar with some of these, but I know that Excel is quite common. So if you want to import from Excel, that would be the professional version that you have to buy extra. Basically, that's it for that. And that's a quick overview of how that software works.